This is Michael Lukies with After School, and this is the Five Minutes with a Teen Difference Maker interview series, a collaborative effort between After School and our partner Peace First. Today we're speaking with young change maker Jasmine Babers, founder of Love Girls Magazine. Jasmine, thanks so much for joining me. Let's start with why the topic of women's empowerment is important to you personally. Yeah, so first of all, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to have this opportunity to get to talk to you. Um, but yeah, women empowerment. I, <laughs> um, If you ask my mom, she'll tell you that I've kind of been a feminist even before I knew what the word feminist was. Um, in high school, when I started the magazine, it was, um, I found myself feeling a lot of um, feelings that I couldn't describe, that I didn't have a name for, um, injustices and, like, sexism and systematic oppression and things like that. And um, when I started the magazine, I didn't really understand that I was actually fighting against some of those things that later when I got to college, I got to put a term to the feeling. And so I just think that women empowerment has, like, always been inside me, Um wanting to stand up for other people and wanting everything to be fair has started, like, for me from the playground. How would you explain the magazine to people who have never heard of it? Yeah, of course. Um, I started Love Girls uh, about four years ago when I was 15, and Love Girls is a self-esteem magazine uh, for girls ages 13 to 22. And the, the love stands for lead, overcome, value, and empower. And those are the four pillars that we really try and instill into our readers and into our writers and um, anybody who's involved in the magazine. And so the girls talk about bullying, body image, um, and anything that's just important to them and relevant to the time. And why is women's empowerment an important issue? And not just for women or here in America, but for all ethnicities, sexes, and races. Why is it such an important issue? Um, I mean, to start off with, like, the basics, women, women make up um, over half the population of the world. And so um, women's rights are human rights, and um, we just – they matter because we are people and we are the majority of people. And uh, to take it a little bit further, um, when you're combining women with, like, um, gender and race and ethnicity and even, like, class and disability, um, you're looking at, like, the intersectionality of, like, people and who they are, um, what makes a person a person and what gives somebody their own identity. And... Uh, when you're looking at, like, injustice and you're looking at the intersectionality of people, um, it's important to uh, consider women empowerment um, as something that is important because they all connect. Um, women empowerment is telling women and girls that they can do something. And when you're telling um women of different races and different ethnicities and different religions religions that they can do something, um, you're kind of like looking at the whole picture of who somebody is and their identity. And so uplifting every single person, as many people as you can, is important so that women and girls can succeed. And not to dive too deep into politics here, but do you feel like your efforts have become much more important in the last year? Oh, definitely, yes. Um, 100%. I think that when I was 15, I was really doing kind of like the like the baseline of like what I thought um, was female empowerment and women empowerment, which was great. It was awesome, and it was a really good it was a really good place to start. But as I did like get a little bit older and got a little bit more wiser and uh, read more about what I was doing and like what I wanted to do, I think that um, I've really been able to try and like start working towards getting to the core of um, women empowerment and what that means and what feminism means and what womanism means and um, really try and, like, educate the girls and the people who are part of the magazine on, like, you know, the, the, the greater goal, the core root. One of the things you mentioned in your video with Peace First, uh, which we'll have a link to in the video description, is that it's okay to ask for help. I love that message. Who did you ask for help, and how can someone looking to make a difference in the world know who to ask for help? 
everybody has things that they're born with that they can do really, really well. And it's okay not to be able to do everything. Um, I'm not good at math. <laughs> and so um, I don't try and um, do any of the accounting or any of the, like, bookkeeping for the magazine because that's not my strong suit. I think that it's important to play to your strengths and really um, play to your passion. And I think that when you're, like, trying to be a team member or you're trying to build a team or be a leader, um, I think looking for people, asking for help from people who are really good at things that you might not be so strong in or who have a lot of knowledge about the things that you might not have so much knowledge about but you know that you need is a really, really good place to start. Yeah, I love that. And sometimes it's as simple as just making sure you ask for help or ask for what you need. You never know who will be able to give you that help, even if you, you know, you expect them not to be able to help or somebody's way too busy or experienced to help you. You never know what can come from asking. How can the Peace First Challenge help young people make a positive impact on the world? Um, The Peace First Challenge is amazing. It's, it's an excellent tool to really hone in on young people and how they think and how they act. I think that the Peace First Challenge really makes it easy for young people to tap into the power that they have. When you participate in the Peace First Challenge, um, you really get an insight about not only like the activism that you're trying to be a part of, but other activisms that are happening. And I think that it really instills some knowledge. Um, and you can even like come across things that you didn't know that um, existed that you might really care about or relate to. And how can people find out more about what you're working on in Love Girls magazine? Yeah, um, I'm on the Peace First Challenge website. I have two uh, projects going on there currently. One is for the magazine, and another one is for a project that I call Fostering Incarceration, and that takes a look at the incarceration to foster care pipeline. Um, that's really important to me because I was a, I am a product of the foster care system. And you can also learn more about the magazine at www.lovegrowthmagazine.com. Great. Jasmine, I love what you're doing. Uh, and what you've done to address such an important issue. And thank you again for joining me. To learn more about the Peace First Challenge and to get involved today, visit peacefirst.org and scroll over the challenge heading to get started.